Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Fireside Chat. Our focus today is on the ethical considerations for organizations implementing AI and the intersection with commercial considerations. We will also explore how to maintain a balance between ethics and business activity, business interests. Let's dive into the conversation. Dr. M, when organizations implement AI, what are the key ethical considerations that they should keep in mind? Well, that's a great question, and I'm glad we are we're talking about ethics um, because that's that's a very important um, topic, especially you know with, with AI um, expanding and evolving as it is. Um, so, organizations first must uh, prioritize, of course, ethical considerations throughout the implementation. Right, that, not not consider them at the end, right? When it's like, oh my God, I got to go back and, and retrofit something. But considering considerations at the beginning of when we decide to use the AI uh, applications to address a business need, uh, from putting a diverse team together. Uh, when I talk about diverse team, diversity of thought, it could be from the cultural perspective, the the um, background, uh, technical background, um, background as in, in far as the, the team that, that makes up the, the uh, AI um, product development team, where you're talking about the developers to the, the subject matter experts, which are very important, knowledge management, um, individuals understand how the flow of knowledge really works and where that, how that knowledge should be uh, presented to, to users. Uh, we, we're looking at also um, the different technical uh, AI engineers, pro uh, program project managers that are involved and, and, and working with that uh, uh, product uh, development. And, and also you need to look at the, um, the business side as well, have business area um, individuals in the project team to understand uh, give a better perspective of how the business works and how the application should um, complement the business and, and any rules, regulations, privacy concerns um, that have to be addressed early on. And you know, then understanding how the data has to be um, um, selected uh, to make sure that it is uh, data that is needed um, and that the data is um, curated and scrubbed sufficiently and for any privacy concerns or any ethical concern, ethical concerns. And so if we're talking about uh, critical aspects regarding uh, fairness, avoiding bi a bias, um, proactively uh, identifying and addressing that from the onset all the way through to the implementation of and deployment of the product. Uh, also make sure we stay away from um, any discriminatory uh, algorithmic results, right? So when we are testing the application, uh, make make sure that uh, that's when the subject matter experts come in and the business uh, business experts to say, okay, I, looking at the, re the results, is the results in line with addressing the business uh, case and the use cases that we uh, intended? Is it producing um, results and decisions that are uh, unbiased and you know doesn't affect adversely any specific group of people, and it also depends on what type of application are we are we uh, going are we looking at is it healthcare is it finance is it is it something in HR so it's other uh, considerations depend on the focus of the application that you need to consider when it become when it comes to bias and and and, and privacy concerns so. Those are things that you uh, need to make sure that you uh, look out for. So um, the the application um, uh, need in a specific area brings a whole um, slew of considerations. And you can imagine if it's in, in the healthcare industry and if it's autonom autonomous vehicles, you know what does that look like as far as um, doing no harm to people and and making sure that the um, autonomous vehicles work work correctly so it's it's those types of things too you know it's, it, it also you know it depends a lot in the vertical that you that you apply in the the, the application and the types of ethical um, 
questions that you must make sure you uh, answer and the privacy concerns as well. Um, so those are the things that, that I, I would um, prioritize is from the beginning, the makeup of the team, selecting the right data sets that, that uh, pertain to your uh, application, um, testing, managing and monitoring the decisions that are being made uh, throughout the life of the, of the application. So those are the things that um, I would immediately start to uh, to look at. Thank you, Doctor. Now, how do ethical considerations intersect with con commercial considerations? And can organizations strike a balance between ethics and business interests? Wow, <laughs> that's what we're wrestling with right now, right? And so, uh, yeah, we can strike a balance. The one thing that we have to look at is is um, profits. We, we organizations always look at you know from from what I see is, is more profits than understanding the balance of privacy and ethical concerns. And so <clears throat> we have to balance that some way, where we kind of flip. Uh, the focus instead of looking at it from a a um, profit perspective, let's look at it from the ethical and privacy concerns. Because if your product is released and you do not sufficiently look at ethical and privacy concerns, they can come back to uh, hurt the organization in the form of lawsuits and and so on. Uh, when you start to damage the reputation of, of your organization and the um, you know your customers and 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 the public in, in, at large, and that will make your you know your profits definitely be <laughs> something that will be uh, uh, affected by 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 not taking those things into consideration. And so the balance has to be more so on the ethical and privacy concerns. And make sure you get that right. Make sure you, you're testing and monitoring the application um, as well to continue to meet those meet those demands uh, and continue to meet that balance between profit and um, uh, ethical and privacy concerns. Because <clears throat> you, you want to make sure that one, your customers are, are being serviced um, the right way uh, before any. Um, you look at any making any profits or releasing any product uh, because we see too many times when products are released too soon, um, there's a backlash, uh, not only on the use of the product, but the reputation of the, of the organization. Thank so you, doctor. The, the, the other piece I want to make sure that, that we talk about mm -hmm. here is that all of that, what I've just said, at the end of the day, you know, it builds trust in the organization. Right, so if you are taking into consideration the privacy concerns, the ethical concerns of your clients and customers, that builds trust in your organization that you are building applications that are in the best interest of your customers instead of just looking at profits. So that trust factor is huge as the ongoing evolution of your product and uh, company continues. So I just want to make sure I stress that. Thank you, Doctor. Now, for the last question, how can organizations maintain a balance between ethical considerations and commercial interests in their AI implementations? Uh, maintain a balance, like I was saying, it, it, it's a lot of going on, but it takes a proactive approach. You have to be have to be intentional about maintaining that balance. You just can't say, okay, well, we have some ethical things that we consider. We 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 looked at some some privacy concerns, we, we understand we, we're HIPAA compliant or whatever that is, but you have to continue to be proactive because um, industries, um, laws and regulations change. Um, the actual uh, AI program or product that you, that you uh, have developed in, in some of the marketplace, that may evolve as well. It depends on the data. The data may change that's, that's um, used in the uh, application. So being proactively um, looking at that is, is the key to um, making sure you have that balance. And 
The other piece we have to look at is, is establishing some ethical guidelines and standards. Um, one of the things that I've looked at is there are a slew of ethical uh, standard organizations um, that are available to, um, to, to research and to uh, understand. Um, you can actually leverage some of these ethical standards and uh, align them with your own risk and um, uh, ethical or risk and privacy standards in your own organization, adding another layer that's con that's concentrating on AI within your organization. So building that those guidelines to then measure against your application, I think is is also something that uh, needs to be uh, considered. And so this this whole um, outlook will actually evolve uh, the fostering and, and, and cultural and ethical awareness and responsibilities throughout the organization, right? So you want to have that uh, consistent um, cultural, organizational cultural DNA that really understands the impact of ethical um, considerations and privacy concerns when building AI applications. So those are things you want to make sure that you um, that you leverage. And you also, um, and I've spoken about this before, is having a um, diverse team and, and, and that's um, engaged in the application from the experts to the ethical um, uh, ethicists that, that, that really look at the guidelines, um, ethical guidelines that you use, and um, that overall um, application uh, team from the uh, subject matter experts to other AI engineers, project managers, knowledge managers, and so on, uh, I think uh, is, is what we need to have in order to continue to evolve the application and be proactive in uh, ethical and, and, and privacy concerns. Thank you, Doctor, for your insights and perspective on today's session, especially on ethical considerations of implementing AI and the delicate de balance between ethics and business interests. It's clear that organizations need to prioritize fairness, transparency, and data privacy while aligning their commercial goals with ethical frameworks. By doing so, they can build trust, maintain their reputation, and drive responsible AI innovation for the betterment of society. That's all for today, and thank you everyone for joining this session.